Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. Now this MK11 video is not going to be a tutorial, it's not going to be a character guide or anything like that. Simply put, I'm going to go over some of the things that I'm hoping will drop and will change with the game when the next big major patch drops. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the first DLC character Shang Tsung is coming out next Tuesday and with it the game is likely to receive its first substantial balance patch. And there are some things that I'm really hoping NRS will address and I'm going to talk about these changes. Now this is not going to be focused on characters specifically, uh, that would be just way too long to go over each character. If you look at my tier list video that I made about a week ago, week and a half ago, you can pretty much see there what I think of each character and who I think are strong and who I think are weak. This is just more going to be the overall thoughts I have on the game and some of the gameplay slash quality of life changes I hope NRS will address. Is it likely that any of these changes will happen? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm absolutely not certain that any of these will be implemented. However, we can always hope, right? You know, and this isn't me bitching or anything like that. I'm really just, you know, I want this game to be the best it can possibly be. I think it's by far the best NRS game kind of in terms of launch wise that they've had, you know, comparing MKX, Injustice 2 and all that in terms of characters being balanced, the game being, you know, fun to play and all that. But still, there are some things that I think need changing and we're going to go over these not in any particular order and you know this isn't like an ordered list or anything like that but let's just get right into it starting with number one i'm really hoping that the next patch will address the poking system in this game simply put poking is currently way too strong you know i'm sure we've all been there we all play this game online well i think most of you watching this video play this game online and down pokes you know down ones down threes down fours are way too fast on startup and they are way too safe on block. Simply put, a lot of matches in this game, and even if you look at tournaments as well, boil down to the two players standing in each other's face and mashing low pokes, mashing down ones, mashing down threes, and going for throws. Uh, again, the main issue is the safety. It is almost impossible to punish uh, the down ones, especially in the game. Unless you're a character like Jackie, who has a very fast, solid mid, and let me tell you, not a lot of characters have something like that. Just, you know, low poke into low poke is a very, very strong option. Mainly because every character's 1-1 one, one string or 1 string starts off a high. So basically, the only way to retaliate is with your own down poke, but if the opponent has a faster down poke, they're playing Gears or something, it just devolves into a mash fest. Uh, pro players have complained about this. I complain about this because uh, not only is it not fun to get poked, 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 thrown, poked, 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 poked thrown, uh, it also makes the game incredibly boring to play and boring to watch. I'm really hoping NRS will address this and just make down ones and low pokes in general a little bit more unsafe on block allowing even characters with slower mids to punish them because all characters have mids just well i shouldn't say that kotal khan <coughs> shao khan a lot of characters have mids and it would be really good to just you know have some sort of option or allow you to move or something you know not just have low pokes jail into each other all right the next few desired changes are going to be focused on the online generally netcode is perfectly fine in this game however i really wish that NRS gave you the ability to decline people on Wi-Fi, especially in ranked sets. To be honest with you, out of maybe 10 opponents I fight in ranked, probably 6 or 7 are on Wi-Fi, and probably 3 out of 5 of those Wi-Fi warriors have absolutely shitty connection. If you don't know, the game only lets you decline an opponent if the connection is a yellow bar, so 3 bars or below. However, I often find that because Wi-Fi is unstable, uh, the game could detect the opponent as a 5 bar and when we get into the actual match, it's a 2 bar at best. It's been happening to me so many times and I really wish they just kind of blanket gave you the ability to decline people who use Wi-Fi. You know, I could still accept, just give me that choice, you know. This is not like a big criticism or anything, but honestly, 
if you're using Wi-Fi for a fighting game or any kind of competitive game in 2019, yeah, it's just, you should be able to decline those people, you know, unless you're on like Nintendo Switch or something, which is different. But seriously, way too many people use Wi-Fi and way too many people have bad connections on said Wi-Fi. Speaking of online and rank sets especially, two changes I would like to see implemented. I would love there to be some sort of punishment for rage quitting. This has always been an issue in NRS games, uh, especially pulling the plug. You know, there's two types of uh, disconnects. The one where it says like your opponent left the game. That's, you know, simply put, they pressed the start button and they went quit and they quit. The other option, if the game says, you know, the game session is no longer available, that means they either close the game or literally unplugged the plug, as in their Ethernet cable. Unfortunately, there is no punishment for the second type of rage quit. I don't know if there is actually a punishment for the first either, aside from quitality. Whereas other games, you know, tend to restrict people who quit over and over again. Uh, there is no such thing, especially again with the pulling of the plug type rage quit in NRS games. And it does get kind of annoying. I've seen people who had like ridiculous rank set uh, scores and they were terrible because they just rage quit. Because that second type, it actually doesn't contribute to scores as far as I know. Going back to the gameplay, uh, one of the things I would really like to also see changed and this this point, I'm gonna be completely honest, I basically stole from MK Rio. He made a video on things he dislikes about MK11 and he mentioned the fatal blow system and I 100% agree with him. The problem is the fatal blow system in theory is great. I like that characters have like this Tekken rage art style move because one of the issues with X-ray moves in previous NRS games and even Injustice Supers is that you just never saw them. You know, there was no reason to save up your meter and ever go for a super when meter burn moves were so much stronger. Luckily, in this game, there's actually a purpose for supers. However, with the way they are on startup, on hit, and kind of with the armor, it is just a complete neutral killer. You know, this game is supposed to be focused on like good spacing, knowing when to move, knowing the range of your attacks. As soon as one of the players or one of the two characters gets the fatal blow, all of that goes immediately out the window. If your opponent has a fatal blow, especially, you know, a Gears or an Aaron Black or a Jax, you are afraid to move, you are afraid to even press a button, you're just pretty much sitting there on block because anything you do, you know, even taking a tiny step backwards, bam, the opponent can just hit two buttons, immediately you're gonna get hit by a 30% combo and yeah there's just nothing you can do about it and all the fatal blows are armored as well so what i would really like to see changed is i would like to see the armor just go from fatal blows you know they're already strong enough they're already gonna come back you know there's no uh kind of punishment for whiffing them especially on block they're punishable but whiffing no because you just get restocked it shouldn't have armor on top of that, you know, especially wake up fatal blows are just kind of ridiculous. Adding another wake up option to the already robust, let's just say, uh, wake up options included in this game. Yeah, just, just get rid of the armor for fatal blows. And for characters like, you know, Jax and Aaron Black that have like ranged, very high range fatal blows, I would just, you know, make them a little bit slower on startup so that it's not just like, you can sit at full screen with either of these characters and then just bam immediately hit the button and be guaranteed to hit your opponent. And you know, just as a final point, uh, just to touch basic like character balance, uh, one of the things I would really like to see is that the secondary variations of characters would get touched a little bit. You know, unfortunately, I can count on one hand the characters where both variations are equally good. Simply put, a lot of characters have very bad variations and I'd really like to see NRS, you know, just balance those variations out a little, little bit, you know. The command grab variation for Aaron Black, the Molotov cocktail variation for Kano. These variations have potential, as in they're interesting gameplay-wise. However, the other variations are just so incredibly good that there is no reason to ever pick these. It was the exact same situation in MKX as well. 
So I really wish that NRS kind of looked into what character has what move. Because, as again, as other people have pointed out, your character like Aaron Black has all of his good moves stacked into one variation. You know, the gun counter and the extra kind of moves and strings that he gets. Whereas the other variation, it just has no love. It has nothing. Just a stupid command grab that you can't even pick the side the opponent is going to land on. So yeah, it would be really good to have more character variety, but also variation variety. I think, again, some of these variations, especially things like the Molotov Cocktail Kano, have potential. It's just they need to get looked into. Maybe just give these characters new strings or just give them something, you know, because they are currently very, very bare bones. So that's going to wrap up this little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, are any of these changes likely? I don't think so, honestly, but, you know, you can always hope, you can always hope, and, you know, who knows, who knows what's going to happen when Shang Tsung comes out. I'm really hyped for the character, going to be checking him out day one, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, and hope to see you on my next MK video, whatever I decide to do. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.